Well, hello there. So today I want to show you our new mini faux spring reverb. Now, if you've been around us for a while, you know we used to have this guy right here, which was the regular faux spring reverb. Uh, time on this, I think, was like, you could only do from like 2 seconds to 2.3 seconds, something like that, of reverb time. I liked it, it just was limited in uh, the, I guess, the, the skeletons of what we were doing. It took the same circuit and expanded it and allowed it to go shorter time and a longer time. So with this new mini faux spring reverb, it's still going to be the same spring style as, as this guy right here. Uh, same basic skeleton of a circuit, just done a heck of a lot cooler. Time on the mini faux spring reverb, if we go all the way down, we can get to just over a second. If we go all the way up, then we'll get to almost four seconds. So all the way down, you can kind of get sort of a cool little small spring. You know, something like that. Or I just like to ha have just a little bit of ambience. Just a little bit of what would sound like a, kind of like a sort of a small room, but not really roomy. More like a emulated small room. So anyways, I just kind of like that sound. It's kind of a cool thing to do. Uh, we can turn it up a little bit. Turn my volume up. Let's turn that volume up all the way so you can get the full effect out. You're probably never going to run like this, but... And then all the way up. Now keep in mind, exaggerated volume. And while I have the volume up, let me turn the tone all the way down. And if we want a lot of brightness on our reverb, Now again, that's a lot of volume, so no one's really good. Generally, most people aren't going to use that much reverb. I like keeping my tone down just a bit. So, uh, of course it is a mini size, so it does fit in smaller sections on your pedal board. Good for playing Tetris with your pedal board. Again, it is um, it has an analog through circuit, so you're with the volume all the way off. Still, just that's your analog clean tone. Uh, of course, with the mini faux spring reverb, the, uh, the reverb itself is created in a digital fashion, but that doesn't mean it's bad because uh, it's a really fun way to manipulate uh, the sound of the reverb to get the best sounding reverb that you can. So if you'll notice in this mini faux spring reverb, it's completely different than our last reflection pedal. Um, that had a spring setting on it as well. But the mini faux spring is, um, you, it almost feels like, a, it's supposed to emulate like a, like a regular spring tank, right? So on a spring tank, just the way that everything kind of works and the sound going through it, um, it's, <laughs> I hate to use that adjective, but it sounds more springy. So it sounds like there's a bunch of echoes going on. 
So we're actually emulating what's going through, uh, you know, basically what's happening in a um, spring circuit. So, and that's how we got the mini flow spring reverb. So, uh, hope you dig it, hope you like it. Make sure you check it out. It's available June 22nd of 2018. So if you're watching this past that, after that, then it's already out. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a couple of days with a new video and we'll see you later.